Welcome to another episode of the Smiles Ahead podcast, powered by Burrow, Welshel, and Culp Orthodontics. And this is a fun community version where we bring somebody in from the community um, that also owns a business and uh, lets us know, um, get to know the neighborhood a little bit better. So, Kristen, thank you so much for joining us. And, um, you know, I always start by, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm Kristen Stewart. I've lived in Charlotte about 20 years. And for the last um, two and a half years, I've owned Urban Sweets, which started as a mobile ice cream concept. Mm -hmm. And in um, 2022, we opened a, an actual brick-and-mortar retail store in South End. So we're literally right around the corner from you guys. There you go. And um, sadly, the expenses were just a little bit greater than we had hoped. Um, or I guess our revenue was a little less than <laughs> we thought it would be. And uh, so we're unfortunately having to close the shop, but in about two weeks, so around December um, 17th, mm -hmm. and then we will go back to being mobile. mobile. So um, it's where about 70% of our revenue was coming from, so it just seemed like a natural pivot back to that. Yeah, maybe concentrate on what, what got you there and yes. what's working. And um, yeah, it's interesting enough that you mentioned the mobile part. We've always tried to implement you know, probably like y'all, the most thing for a customer is convenience. Like right. they might want ice cream, but to get somewhere and go somewhere, you know. Uh, so we'd always thought the, the concept of having, you know, they've always had dental vans, but yes. maybe a nicer concept where you come in and you can get certain things done yeah. conveniently and then come into one of the offices. So it's funny you mentioned that, but um, I know that takes a lot of work to get those, uh, you know, trucks going through all the... Yeah. The, the permitting and stuff like that. What, what, that. what was that process like when you first started? Well, we started simpler than a truck. Okay. Uh, we started with mobile carts. Well, one mobile cart. cart. That okay. we our cart is named Sweetie. and um, But now we have multiple. Sweeties. Multiple carts. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, yeah. and we have different configurations. So we've evolved. Yeah. Um, but so the process wasn't that bad because yeah. we didn't have to get permits for the actual mobile unit. Just, just for where to, you were. And yeah, and, and, and permits for, right, exactly, yeah. to serve and to be able to serve safely and that kind of mm -hmm. thing. And so we started with just ice cream because um, ice cream seems a lot of fun. Yeah. And just like we thought it really is. Yeah. It's so fun. <laughs> and so we've expanded. And now, I mean, we've done events with s'mores for 850 people. Mm. Uh, we've served at events that had literally thousands of people. Those were more vending opportunities for whoever wanted to buy, bought. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so we can do all kinds of things now that we had never really imagined when we started the company so, a few years ago. Well, it's funny we talk about, um, I know sweets and ice cream, even ice cream when it's cold are really popular this time of year. Um, but we just had on uh, Tiff's Treats, which yeah. is the cookie version yeah. of probably what y'all do. And everyone's probably wondering, God, this Dennis Orthodontist is having all these people <laughs> with sweets on there. Was he trying to grow his business? But no. <laughs> Uh, well, as long as you brush. As long as you brush. That's <laughs> right. But I always say, what we always say is is ice cream is such a savior for us when we're talking about braces because what's the first thing people ask? They're like, hey, what can I eat? And we do have to limit some of the harder candies and some of the stuff they're used to, you know, but we're always like, but ice cream, still on the list. In fact, we encourage it the first couple of days because you kind of get sore with the yeah. braces. And so it's a fun thing to be like, hey, this is, you know, let your mom know that the, the doctor recommended ice cream yes. for this. So uh, uh, there is a little bit of a connection <laughs> between orthodontics and, and, and ice cream in that sense. So um, it's a fun connection. Now, you said uh, we concentrate on the ice cream, but y'all do a lot of, y'all do some different stuff oh, or, yeah. yeah. So um, one of the things that I realized is that the cart can actually be configured differently. So we worked with a carpenter to actually build us some different tops, and some tops are solid tops, so that way we can put something on the cart, um, like a popcorn machine or a cotton candy mm -hmm. machine. Or yesterday for the South End neighborhood we served, um, they hired us to give out 100 cups of hot chocolate. Mm. So we were able to <coughs> put our insulated containers on that top. And then we have other tops for, like, um, that have little cutouts in them where we put canisters and... It could be anything in there. It could be um, toppings for something. It can be chips for if you want it, like a, some savory snacks. Oh, cool. And we can have up to nine different things on that cart. 
And so, and then we can also do just tabletop displays. Um, we recently also had a display wall built. So, like, if someone wanted to have a giveaway mm-hmm. for at an event, so we've used that for. Right now, we have it in our shop with s'mores kits mm-hmm. for the holidays. But we originally had it created to have like a cookie display. So when people were leaving an event, they could take a cookie with them. Oh, that's cool. Message. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so it sounds like you got you know, able to do a lot of diversity with it. Now, I have to ask, like, you know, there's always that idea, like, maybe you like, like ice cream. And everyone is always like, you know what, I should do an ice cream shop. Or I should make these. Or you, you make something special and people come over to your house. Like, you should sell these. Right. Like, it happens all the time. But it takes a lot of effort right. to get to the point where you start the business. How did Were you in the cooking, baking, ice cream making? No. No, okay. none of that. I think that's the funniest thing when people find out. So I had enough money to either start the business or to make ice cream. So I decided to start the business mm. because in addition to the cart, I also had to buy a van yeah. so that I could move the cart around. Yeah. yeah. And um, so I decided to, I searched really hard to find um, a company that makes really delicious ice cream. Yeah. And everybody thinks that we make it. But if they ask, right. we tell them we don't. Yeah. And um, and so I've just been really good at sourcing really good quality um, products. We work with about 15 other small businesses. Mm, that's nice. So, yeah, yeah. so when you work you're with us, you're also helping out all of those other businesses. Well, there yeah. you go. It's kind of like us. You know, we have, it's not only us, but we have a, a bracket vendor. Mm-hmm. We have the wires, right. the... You know, aligners come from a different company. So you kind of got to piece all those things together, and then you look at the whole thing and say, yeah. hey, you know, it took took a lot to serve it, you that cup of ice cream. Right. But, but I know a lot goes into to even starting the cart and the business. And yeah. So what made you think ice cream off the it's bat? it's fun. It's fun. Yes. Yeah. Um, I just need – I was at a point in my life where I just needed a little more joy. And mm-hmm. I thought, well, what, what makes people happy? And right. I'm like, oh, ice cream. Ice cream. I can get this cute little cart and – um, literally roll all over Charlotte, and now we go farther. We can travel up to four hours with the ice cream, mm. and um, it's fun. It yeah. really is. And customers are always so nice. You know, you work in an industry where maybe that's not always <laughs> the case, but in my industry, yeah. it is always the case. Yeah. So that's really nice. And um, but yeah, just opening the shop was a lot. Um, we. Had when we signed the lease, we didn't realize that we had to have certain requirements from the city, mm. um, from the city water department of, about grease and that kind of thing, so yeah. the grease wouldn't enter the water. So it um, literally almost quadrupled our upfit budget. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. So as as a commercial business owner, you real estate owner, you know what that means. I mean, the unexpected. You kind of plan for a little bit, maybe a ten or fifteen percent. Um, increase over your budget, but quadruple, it was tough. So maybe audience, when you when you pay $10 for a cup of ice cream, it's not going <laughs> all to, you're not just, yeah, yeah, right. you know, because, you know, we, we've all seen in the last couple, you know, last six months or so or a year or whatever, um, you know, things have just been getting more expensive. And it's not that these business owners are, are taking home a chunk of money, but right. other circumstances. Oh, yeah, be. it's everything. It's um, just the cost of goods have gone up. I mean, spoons are more expensive. Yeah, the small things you don't think about. Right, exactly. 25% more expensive. People want to be paid a lot more, Mm -hmm. um, even though they are just scooping ice cream. Mm -hmm. You know, we also want somebody, and we don't mind paying Mm -hmm. for for good help. You know, we want people to understand our entire concept, be it that they're serving on our carts or if they are working um, in our shop. We want people who are friendly and because... We, yes, we are a ice cream and dessert shop first, but we want people to remember the experience. That's what brings people back to us. Yeah, yeah, we're same with orthodontics. Like you were saying, there's a certain fear, no matter if it's the dentist, the orthodontist, you know, that they're going to have when they come in here. They see a dental chair, they might hear a burr. So we're real big on experience too, and keeping that local feel. You know, that's why we're you know still locally owned and we like to talk to local business people and um you know that customer put that customer first and for us put that patient first you know really can mean a lot um yeah and uh i think the actual oh no 
I thought that was the original Dr. Burr that was going to come in. So sometimes he jumps in the middle of a podcast (laughs) and you can say hello to him. But (laughs) um, yeah, so, you know, getting back to the customer, it sounds like you got in it for the right reasons too because you just wanted to make people happy. And you're and like, hey, ice cream, right. you know, if yeah. that if there's a buried injury, if you're having a bad day <laughs> and you dig into some ice cream, it's going to give you, a, you know, at least a little bit of relief exactly. there. So that is a cool business. Model. And, you know, we've had some, you, you think, oh, what I do, I mean, how impactful is it? And um, with ice cream, you don't necessarily, in desserts, you don't expect, expect it to be. But with the shop, I mean, it truly has been. We've had people who have come by. We had um, a lady who was getting ready to go into um, isolation because she was having a bone marrow transplant. Mm. And she chose Urban Sweets as the last place that she went with her friend. Oh, that, so see, those yeah. stories always make it. Yes. And there's, there's uh, make it worth it. When you yeah. can kind of say, you know, let's bring in somebody that's yeah. really at the bottom. Yeah. They're, they're exactly. awesome joy. And we have um, about two days before we close, we have a school group coming. All the, all the kids in the first grade are mm. coming by the shop, and we're going to talk about um, small business ownership. We're also going oh, to talk cool. about holidays from around the world, and of course, there will be dancing. Hey, <laughs> you know, you can keep their attention a little bit, and then you can tell them, you know, I think that's that's very important for, you know, they can see real people that started real businesses, and, and then you have such an advantage of saying, hey, sometimes you got to do something and realize that, this is working better than this, and yeah. let's go this direction. We certainly have in ours yeah. as well. Yes. I think any business has, whether yeah. they talk about it or not. Yeah. They've had to take a step back at some point. Like, why something. are we putting all this effort into getting 20%? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the 80-20 rule, it right? Is. So, it is. Um, well, good. Well, I, I had meant, heard you mention, you know, you all serve huge groups. Mm-hmm. How do you all, you know, decide where you're going to be? Can people hire you for events? Oh, absolutely. What's the, what's the, yeah. The, the smallest, the biggest, how does it yes, all work? So the smallest event that we've ever done that we were hired to do was a bridal shower for eight people. Eight people, okay. Yeah, so okay. I guess anything from eight people. Well, I take that back. We did have a um, we had a birthday party in our shop for four people. Four people. Okay, there you go. Oh, there you <laughs> so go. Yes, so yes. a wide range. Yeah, and is. then yes, if you from, need. I guess from four people to 850 people. Hey, there and you go. Yes, and everything in between. Our, um, we do probably of our off-site event business or our mobile business, most of it actually is corporate, if you can corporate. imagine. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah, mm. yeah. So a lot of companies hired us um, to bring people back to the office mm-hmm. for to either celebrate something or to truly return to the office on a hybrid schedule or a full-time schedule. Yeah. Um, sometimes around um, some of their – Social philanthropy, yeah. just a variety of things. And and always add ice cream in there. It's going to make people one. It gets people to come. It yeah, does. some of these corporate yes. events. Yeah, <laughs> and a little bit of a snooze. You got to you got to entice them a little bit. So. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then what we've seen is, um, it's been very fascinating to see people who normally would not talk to one another mm. talk to one another because they're at the toppings bar or, oh, the, yeah. you know, and so it's like, oh, I didn't, hi, I'm Kristen. I like Butterfinger candy on top of my vanilla ice cream and so do you, you know, and it just sparks these interesting conversations and yeah. interactions. And so that's one of the bonuses for um, some of the corporate events. That's so, cool. Yes, but then we do social. So we did a 50th birthday party recently. We do kids parties, just literally grand openings for businesses. Oh, that's awesome. Just anything that you can think of that you want to celebrate, yeah. Just give us a call. Just call. <laughs> and the easiest way, we'll put all your information in the in the show notes and everything. But is there a simple way? Y'all have social media. We also? do. Our social media and our website are the same. Just um, Urban Suites Co. So easy to remember. Easy to remember. Easy to find. Us. Yeah, I'm sure if you Google. Urban Suites Charlotte. It'll yes, come up too, so yes. just get in touch with you. Um, well, that's exciting. I know that, uh, you know, obviously we like to bring people in that make our community smile, and your answer so obvious I won't even ask. Of course, ice cream makes you smile. Of course. Um, but one last question I was thinking about when you were saying that. Do you have a favorite flavor, or Ooh, have you gotten do. sick of ice cream because no. you're around it so much? No, okay. No, I literally eat ice cream every day. <laughs> yeah. so not good, but so good. I know. If it's around, <laughs> uh, you'd have to be a, you know. Yes. <laughs> yes, but 
my favorite flavor is a lot of our flavors are named for things related to Charlotte. Oh, cool! And so, like our um, Uptown Choco Brown is our triple chocolate. Our Queen City Cream is our vanilla. Our number one seller is our Dilworth Delight, which is like a cookies and cream. We say it's cookies and cream, but better. Uh-huh. And um, but my favorite is our. Caramel Road Caramel. Ooh. And so it's caramel ice cream, and then it has um, mini cu- chocolate cups, and inside the chocolate cups is liquid caramel. Oh, so wow. Just I'm delicious. a sucker for caramel, too, so <laughs> I, I, I would be all over that. Yeah, I don't have to give that, that's a, good one. give that a try. Yeah. Um, well, I know you're busy, and you got to get back to it, but we appreciate you coming on. Yeah. And, um, you know, those in the audience out there, if you need some ice cream, if you have an event, if you want to get in touch with them, they're still open for a couple weeks here, yes. right right down the street of our uh, Mint Street South End location. So uh, check them out. And thank, uh, you. thank you so much for coming on. Well, thank you. Yes, and we'll be popping up just all around town. So look for us. Uh, follow us on social media so you can see where we'll be. We're doing some collaborations with a few businesses. So um, even though our future is going to be a little bit different, we're really excited. And I appreciate you having us. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, you have a uh, wonderful day. And uh, thanks, guys. And we'll see you next time on a great episode of the Smiles Ahead podcast. Thanks for listening to the Smiles Ahead podcast powered by Burrow, Welchel, and Colt Orthodontics. Be sure to leave a rating, hit that subscribe button. And if you have more questions, you can reach out to me directly at Sam at bwcortho.com. That's sam at bwcortho.com. You can also visit our website, bwcortho.com, and we will be happy to answer any questions you might have.